Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the Casquatch video and in this video I'm gonna be talking about how I got this many gems in this short of time like six days ago when I uploaded the the battle pass video I had like 8000 gems and six days later I actually have like 7000 gems more now I haven't bought any as you can see since then and how I have gotten those is mostly from something that not many people do because I actually play Lava 4 the secret is Lava 4 obviously I said it and not many people do Lava 4 the free to play players they some people do it with their guildmates which is probably the best way to do it but you can also do it randomly however if you have heroes that aren't double evolved or or like half, I don't know, single evolved, that are single evolved, you shouldn't really join Lava 4 unless you have a team, like in a guild or something, because that way you're wasting basically people's time, and if you're gonna join, you're gonna want to have players who have decent heroes for the game mode, such as, I'm gonna show the heroes that are mostly used, and are the best for this mode because they are obviously heroes that are good and that are pretty bad and okay some so it seems like not many people are joining now lava 4 the green chest has a chance to give you a quest refresh card which basically is a chance to get 300 gems and you can refresh this the quest board three times a day you can do the quest board three times a day, which means you can do the quest board at a maximum of six times a day. And if you actually get insanely lucky, six times three is 1800 gems, so that's a ton of gems in a single day. That's without counting the, the bonus gems that you get from logging in and the other stuff. So if you have the time, you can do six times the quest and that's a ton of gems and the rare lava chest also gives this and not to mention they also have a chance to give you a, a talent refresh card which further helps with the 300 gems quests and the metric lava fork chest gives a talent box a chance so that's pretty good and a prime hero card too and some soul stones for walla walla the chances of getting a quest refresh card I'm pretty sure like 50% 50-50 on the dungeon entry card and that way I have gotten a ton of gems and the heroes that I recommend using are pretty much these heroes I'm pretty sure yeah so Dove Keeper really good for this she never dies the talents don't really matter for these heroes However, they need to be at least double evolved and maybe even break through the bit. So if you are a free to play, which most free to play players do this and not the pay to play players. So I would actually recommend using Dove Keeper because she's a free to play hero. Most free to play players have her and she's amazing there. Lazulix really good because he makes the bosses freeze and permanently freeze them if he's 12 or 12 and revive really good for him for Glazurix the talent actually matters because sometimes he gets one shot before he procs Leo 5 revitalize is a must have and the other hero is the most important hero for this mode are two heroes which the first one is a gunslinger most GPS is a free to play hero so you should definitely be using a gunslinger in your team if you have two or three gunslingers, it's basically a guaranteed win in Lava 4. So the more gunslingers, the better. You can never have too many gunslingers. That's the maximum GPS you can have. And the talents don't really matter. Gunslinger is tanky because she reduces damage when she procs and that's really good. I have a level 9 Sacred Light and uh, what's this? Survival 5 Empire Mage for further DPS 
I like using Trixit Kit as well. She has a ton of DPS but dies from Reflect or from the Demon proc. So she's kind of a risky pick because sometimes she dies and if there isn't a tree or a Serena, basically you're using you're losing one hero, so that's pretty crucial for the DPS. So you should always have a revive quest or talent on some of these heroes that get one shot. It's really important. And you should always, pretty much always, unless unless you're using a team, you should al always have a pumpkin duke, two to three of them, and the talent doesn't really matter because he's gonna be stacking with the other pumpkin dukes and he obviously needs to have a revive. Other heroes that you should be using if you let's say don't have a Duff Keeper is a Ghulam. He's really good at healing. Walla Walla is decent there as well but Ghulam does this job maybe like three times better because he not only reduces damage, his heal, his heal is constant and he heals every hero, so he's pretty much better, although I don't use a healer because I don't really need to. And the other hero is either Serena or the tree. I recommend using tree because he reduces damage taken and he revives more heroes at once. Let's say if someone doesn't move his pos their position and all five of their heroes die, and by the time the tree revives, Bumpkin Duke is gonna have stacks and buff the hero so that they get their procs off quicker and survive of that. So tree is really good for that. And other than that, other heroes are maybe Cosmo and Anubis because Cosmo paralyzes them and does a ton of damage. DPS. DPS is way more important than damage so DPS stands for damage per second the more numbers they can get the better the hero is like a creation his proc ticks a lot of times so he does a ton of DPS and someone like I don't know Skull Knight is really bad because he's only using his basic attacks so that's pretty much no GPS. And I see a ton of people making the mistake by using Skull Knight, a Michael, or I don't know, Mahatma. Don't use those heroes ever in Lava 4 if you're planning to do it on the random. And yeah, that's a really good way to get a ton of gems. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is. I'm pretty sure that they have removed Clasher's Day. Today that I'm recording this video is the 9th of October. So they usually bring Clasher's Day at the 8th of every month. And today is the 9th, so they haven't brought it yesterday, neither for today. And no, no Hurtsy card, so it seems like they have maybe like abandon the event or something like that which is really a big shame because it was a really good event especially the courtesy card one really good but yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for the video if you guys found this video helpful or maybe enjoyed it i don't know make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel but yeah i'll see you guys later bye